Unlock the door to the apartment and welcome legendary director Billy Wilder and screenwriter IAL Diamond at their scathing, satirical best. CC Bud Baxter, played by Jack Lemon, knows the way to success in business. It's through the door of his apartment. By providing a perfect hideaway for philandering bosses, the ambitious young employee reaps a series of undeserved promotions, but when Bud lends the keys to big boss J.D. Sheldrake, played by Fred McMurray, he not only advances his career, but his own love life as well. For Sheldrake's mistress is the lovely Fran Kublik, played by Shirley MacLaine, elevator girl and angel of Bud's dreams. Convinced that he is the only man for Fran, Bud must make the most important executive decision of his career, lose the girl or his job. Heartwarming and heartbreaking, the apartment won five Academy Awards including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay. Movie-wise, there has never been anything like it, love-wise, laugh-wise, or otherwise. The apartment, released by Kino Lorber, so I grew up watching Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in the grumpy and grumpier old men movies, which kind of led me down a a spin of like, okay, well, what else has Jack Lemmon been in? I looked it up, saw The Apartment, saw it at a one Oscars, put it on one day, and ever since it's been on my rotation, like every year around this time, you have this guy who's trying to get promotions at work, trying to impress his boss, lends out his apartment to every guy that wants to have sex with a woman and come on over and, and have discreet relations with a woman at my apartment and give me a promotion and this job's not very not very fun it looks like it's just a normal desk job office job punching in numbers he'll stay late while people are get the keys to his apartment and have women over and drink champagne and all this and his neighbors think that is bud who has all these women over who's ha who's this like hugh hefner type who's having all these women over for casual sex and casual encounters and it's not the case Bud's not getting anything. He's only getting promotions at work. Then we meet the boss, Fred McMurray, who plays his boss. You know, he's, he's, he's your typical CEO type, big, big shot honcho. And he has a mistress too. Shirley MacLaine plays the mistress of this big boss. She also works at the elevator. Right away, we get Shirley MacLaine and Jack Lemmon's chemistry in the elevator scenes. It progresses to where Fred McMurray takes Shirley MacLaine to Jack Lemmon's apartment, gets the key and everything, needs a place to, you know, and this guy's married. This guy's married, has a lot of, has two kids has a wife successful house but you know he's still fooling around so he goes gets the key to the apartment takes her over to Fran so she wants to have a relationship with with Fred McMurray and McMurray's like yeah I'm gonna leave my wife I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that he never does it she becomes depressed so while they're at the apartment Fran takes a bunch of sleeping pills and passes out she tries to kill herself so she's literally Jack Lemon comes home finds her there at the apartment and is like, what is going on? He has to call a doctor. A lot of crazy, quirky comedy in ensues. But we're dealing with some dark themes here. Like, Fran is really depressed. You know, she's being basically used as a side piece by this big business guy. And then you have Bud, who wants to be promoted, but he's also being taken advantage of, too, because he's lending out his apartment. Shirley MacLaine, Jack Lemmon, they kind of build their chemistry more as, the, as it goes on. He ends up, you know, saving her life. And essentially, it leads us to, like, this grand finale where she where she has a choice. Does she go with Bud, Jack Lemmon, the nice guy, or does she go with the business? owner guy keep going on the string with with the big business owner and, and honcho leads to this like fantastic conclusion on new year's that i won't spoil of course but it, 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 it's just so satisfying and what billy water does it's the writing the directing but mostly you know it's the the acting and the characters the chemistry from all three of the leads it's just it's such a fantastic classic and it, it, I can totally see how it, it won all the awards. And from 1960, still holds up for today, in my opinion. The movie still holds up. This is a Kino Larber 4K UHD. There's been several releases of this movie. I had an Arrow Blu-ray at one point, but this has never looked better, guys. This this movie, it really, the black and whites, there's so much detail, so much more to the frame in this version. It's just... It's crazy. I feel like I was in the apartment. Like, you know, hey, call me somebody over to hang out with. But it's just a fantastic transfer. One of the best of the year. The uh, special features include commentaries, Inside the Apartment documentary, Magic Time, the Art of Jack Lemmon featurette. So a lot of cool stuff here. There's also a trailer. I love the old school poster that they use here for the, uh, the front. What do you guys think about the apartment? Have you checked it out? Let me know below in the comments. This has been Return of the Disc. I'm Dan. For more Return of the Disc, visit returnofthedisc.com. Check out the audio version of today's show, available on all major podcast platforms. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.